Okay, what were you saying now? Uh, you know, we joked about it last night, you know, losing all those guys in, in you know, another five-goal game. Yeah. Well, you know, we're getting good balance. Certainly, uh, you know, uh, his teammates didn't make it easy on Adam tonight. He, he earned that win and uh, did a great job. But, uh, you know, I, I was pleased the way we started the game. I thought we came out and, and really dictated the pace early, kind of like they did to us last night. And then, obviously, a lot of, uh, I think, Maybe not a lot, but some avoidable penalties in that second period. And uh, we never really got back into sync after that. And uh, certainly uh, they had their chances, but our penalty kill, including Adam Murray, did, a, did an outstanding job and, and kept us with the lead. Talk about uh, you know, the importance of getting that goal back after they scored the shorty to, to tie it and, and uh, what it meant for you guys on the bench. And... Well, you know, we, we were. Um, we were pretty lackadaisical on that on that uh, shorthanded goal we gave up for the power play for the shorthanded goal that they got against us, um, and uh, certainly to be able to respond, you know, within that power play and be able to score to to give us that momentum back. Uh, it's really, I mean, you get you know your, your opponent is right back in the game, and all of a sudden, boom, they're they're down again, and, and uh, certainly the timing couldn't have been better. Uh, you know, throughout this game, there are, there are mistakes that we made, even in the second goal where, you know, I mean, we had all three forwards. Our opponents got the puck in the neutral zone, and all th three of our forwards are changing. And so they just skate right into our zone, and, and uh, you know, eventually, the, you know, the puck goes in the net. And, and uh, those are things that, that, that we'll get better at. Uh, we'll bring up and watch tape and video. and, and uh, But, uh, you know, certainly... Uh, Overall, you know, pleased with the win. Uh, not pleased with our self-discipline. Too many avoidable penalties, and uh, we'll fix that starting Monday. George, I know that you talked about balance offensively, and obviously that's evident. But you've outscored your four opponents now, twenty to six. So defensively, it's really there too. I mean, just talk about these first four games. I mean, well, let me put it this way: you know, we're not smothering teams defensively. You know, uh, I mean, he, 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 whether it's even strength or giving them opportunities in the power play, I mean, our goaltenders have been very good. And we knew that was a strength of ours. Uh, they've proven it. Uh, certainly, we felt one of our other strengths was going to be our blue line. They've proven that so far. They've, they've, they've played pretty well defensively. They've contributed offensively. Um, you know, uh, our scoring is, is kind of spread around, you know, throughout the the lineup, including forwards and defensemen. So, you know, it's been a good start for us. I, I really, I really have to give a lot of credit to our leadership led by Paul Phillips. I, I think he's, Paul is doing, you know, he's one of those silent leaders. You're not seeing him right now, the early part of the season on the scoreboard. You're not seeing him on the power play. You see him killing penalties. You see him battling like crazy in our own zone, even strength. Uh, but the, the little, the, uh, Little intangible things that you don't see, no one sees, but Paul's leadership and, and his voice in that locker room. Uh, I think really Paul and the three guys that are working with him, uh, you know, Ostro, Knowlton, and, and Nick Shore, have done an outstanding job of preparing this team for the season and making sure they, they hold them accountable. Now there's a couple things we're going to work on from a coach's standpoint to make sure that uh, we hold everybody accountable for, for the avoidable penalties. You said that Paul doesn't play on the power play, but he was on the power play when the Italian kid was in the box. Yep, yep. That Italian kid gets, if you remember last year, I'm sure you do, with the incident with Ben Blood, he's mm -hmm. accused of headbutting him, mm -hmm. which he didn't. Right. And then this dive, which he got, you know, cross-checked in the He'll face. be seeing the orthodontist on Monday, by the way, for that supposed dive. You got a chip loop? Oh, yeah, chip his, loop? yeah, his... What's with that guy being these these two erroneous calls on the same player? What's with who the referee or? Well, it, it, it's it just seems like a pattern that these two horrendous calls have been called on your same player. Uh, which I, I I don't know how to respond to that. I, I think you know Joey is Joey is you know one of our go-to guys, especially on the power play, and and uh, you know. We need him out there, and uh, 
I'm just trying to make some sense of it. Yeah, uh, you know, and I, I can't. I, I don't know if there's an answer to that. I mean, certainly, Joey had a big power. Well, it wasn't a power play goal, but we still were five on four in the zone when he did score uh, uh, to give us that two goal lead. And, and um, uh, you know, he is uh, he's a big part of our offense, but. You know, as I was saying back, you know, Paul Phillips, you know, you, you know, all of a sudden you see him five on three. I mean, he's not a regular power play guy, but he's been around long enough. He knows what to do. And yeah. He did a real nice job on that power play. And, and even though we didn't score, we had some good looks. So, but that's what a leader's all about. That's what, you know, when you have your senior captain out there running the show, it's, it's a comforting feeling. So you got two for Murray, two for Britain. Does uh, UC get two next weekend or just one or what? You know, I don't know. I, I think right now he'll get at least one. Uh, which one that is, I don't know. And whether he gets two, hard to say. I, I think right now he'll probably just get one. I think that's the fair thing to do, considering uh, you know Sam and Adam have had you know their their opportunities back to back uh, on back to back weekends. So uh, yeah, it's probably going to be another couple weekends before we determine where we're at with our goaltenders. Fair to say that Adam is basically. Played five out of six very good periods. I think it's fair to say that both goaltenders, both Sam and Adam, have been excellent. Excellent. Uh, you know, uh, I think both have played very, very well. Both have made a case for themselves to be the number one guy. Uh, you know, both are are two and zero. Oh. Um, so I'm very pleased with the efforts they've given.